we are going to learn some of the most important hormones acting on renal tubules along with renin angiotensin aldosterone system let's understand kidney first kidney is made up of a functional unit called nephron nephron tubules consist of the proximal convoluted tubule the loop of henle the distal convoluted tubule the cortical collecting tubule and the collecting duct so to begin with there is this hormone aldosterone the most important stimuli for aldosterone secretion are increased extracellular potassium concentration and decreased plasma volume via angiotensin 2 we will discuss it in a minute aldosterone is secreted by zona glomerulosa cells of adrenal cortex and it acts on renal collecting tubule on principal cells it act by activating sodium potassium atpase on basal membrane and increase sodium permeability on luminal cell membrane it also causes increased hydrogen secretion by activating hydrogen atpase so the net effect is increase potassium and hydrogen secretion and increase sodium reabsorption the next hormone acting on renal tubule is angiotensin 2 angiotensin 2 formation increases in circumstances associated with low blood pressure or low extracellular fluid volume such as during hemorrhage or excessive sweating or severe diarrhea let's magnify this portion of nephron angiotensin 2 helps to increase blood pressure and extracellular fluid volume towards normal by renin angiotensin aldosterone system in this portion of nephron there is special anatomical arrangement that consist of juxtaglomerular cells that are modified smooth muscle cells in the walls of afferent and efferent arterioles and there are macula densa cells which is a specialized group of epithelial cells in the distal tubule that come in close contact with afferent and efferent arterioles these two groups of cells form the juxtaglomerular complex or we can also say the juxtaglomerular apparatus renin is synthesized and stored in juxtaglomerular cells in an inactive form called prorenin There are three mechanisms of renin release or we can say there are three activators of renin angiotensin aldosterone system. The first mechanism of renin release is by renal baroreceptors. The juxtaglomerular cells of afferent arterioles are able to detect changes in blood pressure. Low blood pressure stimulate these cells to split prorenin molecule and release renin because the goal of renin is to increase blood pressure. the second mechanism is by macula densa cells the macula densa cells are sort of chemoreceptors that detect changes in sodium chloride passing through distal tubule so if there is decrease in sodium chloride concentration it will initiate a signal to stimulate juxtaglomerular cells to release renin the third mechanism is by beta 1 receptors as during the period of sympathetic activity fight or flight there is high blood pressure that high blood pressure is simply because of renin release as a result of sympathetic stimulation renin released from these cells is not filtered it enters renal blood and passes out of the kidney into circulation there is a plasma protein produced by liver called angiotensinogen Renin acts enzymatically on angiotensinogen to form angiotensin 1. As angiotensin 1 travels through blood, there is an enzyme in alveolar endothelium of lungs called angiotensin converting enzyme. The angiotensin converting enzyme converts angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 plays very important role in maintaining blood pressure. It is perhaps the most powerful sodium retaining hormone and a powerful vasoconstrictor. Angiotensin 2 has its central effects and renal effects. The first renal effect is constriction of efferent arterioles. Efferent arteriolar vasoconstriction raises filtration fraction in glomerulus. 
which causes reduced hydrostatic pressure and increased colloidal osmotic pressure in peritubular capillaries. Both of these forces favor increased tubular reabsorption of sodium and water, hence increased blood pressure. The second renal effect of angiotensin II is the direct sodium reabsorption by stimulating sodium potassium ATPase pump on basal membrane and by stimulating sodium bicarbonate co-transporter on basal membrane, especially on proximal convoluted tubular cells. It also stimulates sodium hydrogen exchange transporter on luminal cell membrane. The central action of angiotensin II includes peripheral vasoconstriction, which increases the blood pressure. Angiotensin II triggers adrenal glands to secrete aldosterone. We have already discussed aldosterone in the beginning. Finally, angiotensin II binds to the hypothalamus, stimulating thirst center and stimulating the release of antidiuretic hormone by posterior pituitary gland. Antidiuretic hormone binds to specific V2 receptors on collecting tubule and collecting duct, where it increases the formation of aquaporin II that permit rapid diffusion of water through the cells. These two hormones, aldosterone and antidiuretic hormones, can be secreted without being a part of renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system by their own special individual stimuli. The fourth hormone acting on kidney is a group of cardiac peptides known as atrial natriuretic peptide and brain natriuretic peptide. These two are secreted in response to high plasma volume. There are specific cells in cardiac atria that secrete atrial natriuretic peptides and there are specific cells in cardiac ventricles that secrete brain natriuretic peptide when they are stretched because of plasma volume expansion. These two cardiac peptides inhibit the whole renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system and promote natriuresis and diuresis, hence maintaining blood volume back towards normal. The last one among these hormones is parathyroid hormone. It is one of the most important calcium regulating hormones in the body. Parathyroid hormone is secreted in response to low plasma calcium. And its principal action in kidney is to increase calcium reabsorption in distal convoluted tubules. It also has other actions related to phosphate reabsorption and vitamin D production that you can understand in one of my previous videos on parathyroid hormone.